Legends of blood-sucking vampires have haunted our imaginations for centuries. But some people in London claim that the vampire that's haunting them is not imaginary. Correspondent Gavin Hay takes us to an eerie cemetery where it's said the infamous Highgate vampire still lurks. Highgate Cemetery here in North London is famous for being the burial place for Karl Marx. But more recently, it has become notorious for being the scene of a number of grisly discoveries and strange sightings. And according to some, a vampire is behind the bizarre events. I think the myth of the Highgate vampire probably originated at the time of the Great Plague. According to Luke Jennings, a journalist who investigated the case, the mysterious event started some 20 years ago. In the winter of 1969, a number of apparitions were reported in Swain's Lane, mostly in letters to local newspapers. Swain's Lane is a narrow road on a steep hill which runs right through the middle of Highgate Cemetery. Is the Highgate Vampire real? Yes, it definitely is. David Barrand, founder and chief investigator of the British Psychic and Occult Society, believes he has the answer. It might come close to being what some people would term a vampire, but that's where I, I would actually draw a line. David is so convinced that the Highgate vampire is real, he spent most of his life tracking it down. I was walking past the top gate, and all of a sudden, something caught my eye, and I looked and I saw a tall figure. It must have been nearly eight feet tall. We decided to conduct a seance at night in Highgate Cemetery. Unfortunately, that investigation that sounds got interrupted by the police and I ended up being arrested and taken to court and charged with hunting a vampire. There, there was a particular occasion on which the police discovered an exhumed body or skeleton without its skull. But despite Ferenc's investigation and eyewitness account, not everyone is convinced. Well, I've been researching vampires, I've been working on my thesis on the vampire in popular fiction for nearly 10 years. Tina Rath, a leading member of the Vampire Society, remains sceptical. I strongly doubt it because I don't think there is such a thing as a real-life vampire. When we're talking about the Highgate Vampire, I think we're definitely talking about legend. But we're talking about legend which is quite important to people. I know what I saw, and it definitely was not my imagination. Fact or fantasy, whatever the truth behind the Highgate vampire, one thing's for sure. The locals say they'll still stay away from Highgate Cemetery. In London, England, I'm Gavin Hay for Strange Universe. You know, not many people know this, but Highgate Cemetery actually served as inspiration for author Bram Stoker. He's said to have actually visited Highgate before he wrote the book Dracula. Wow. Well, here's something that would be...